For years, I cursed the word feminism. Let it puddle under my tongue, collect pop capillaries and old blood. For years, it remained snuggled under my breath. An annoyance of popcorn kernel proportions, a thorn jabbed into gummy teeth. How could I ever survive this attack of gender equality? <laughs> and then I tasted empowerment, learned how luscious it could be, settling on my taste buds, blooming across my vo voice. Oh no, there it comes, clawing up my throat to vomit all over the patriarchy. <laughs> Shaven jungles of liberating prickle, I realized that feminism isn't all about, all about throwing away razors. I realized that I grew up rotting, a sinew wrapped trap that smelled pretty. I've been marinating in the word woman since day one, wondered what it would feel like to brew men's pupils, to whistle at my Fibonacci sequence body, to cloud eyelids with molds of my cheekbones, fashion oceans from the irises staple to my swaying, heal supple stomach with frequent rumbling, and grimmins from my tongue just to let them look at me and somehow. Their puppet smiles and marionette eyelids would make it all better. Bring back to life these epitaph teeth, chapel smiles, and dissipating feet. There's no way to run in high heels. I grew up learning how to wobble. Stuck wondering why my family cared so much if I didn't wear makeup, contacts, or mini skirts. And for a while, I begged for beauty. Squandered birthday checks on concealer and lipstick that didn't make me feel any different and looked down during class to distract from my unworthiness. Came home one night from work and my family said, are you trying to look homely? If you teach a thing to focus, it will become narcissus and stare at the pockmarked skin and frayed tresses that don't match the models. For us, living is learning to dart eyes above the mirror, take verbal assault like sweet talk. After all, he's paying you a compliment. It's being raised to pop pulp-like muscles and to spank, stir chest cavity to beat to the word pretty. There came a day when I realized that feminism is about squirming within a broken system. It's listening to my friends talk about what shade of date rape drug detecting nail polish to purchase. Priests speak of the blasphemy of leggings. Teachers spit out that my shoulders are too sexy for church. It's clenching my fists during self-defense classes because I shouldn't have to do this. Sit tight while my veins steam and I have to breathe and count to five. My brother says that men don't belong in kitchens. Four, a man followed me in a parking lot and I couldn't breathe. Three, another followed me at a concert and my heart shuddered for months. Two, the first cat call came at 11 and when I told my sister, she said not to worry. It happens to everyone. One, man-hater, oversensitive. You're so cute when you get mad. No, call me feminist. Yeah.